so the messages I was getting from you guys was, well, for one, I was getting things are moving fast with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with Scorpio or a water sign, I was getting things that move very quickly. Also, um, I was getting afraid to give something or someone a chance. I was also getting being afraid something won't grow or um, kind of you won't get the results that you are wanting. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. There's different reading options for you to choose from. Also, go check out the merch at swordstarotmerch.com. A couple of my favorites are the hoodies and the mug. I think everything on there is super, super cute, so go check it out. Also, don't forget about my lashes at jayslashes.com for you girlies. Do go check it out also on Instagram as well. Also, do be sure to go check out my vlog channel over there. Just share a little bit more of my personal life. And now, let's get back into the video. Universe, one of the messages for Taurus. What are the messages for Taurus? Okay. So we have the Six of Cups energy here. Six of Cups, this can represent a soulmate, energy, connections, could be somebody new. For some of you, also the Six of Cups, this could represent the past. So maybe some of you have reconciled with the past or are just kind of thinking and reflecting on the past right now. We do have the Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. So yeah, something, I feel that something is just kind of coming back up. Whether it's actual, this person is coming back into your life or this is just um, the old emotions that are coming back up. I do feel uh, reflecting on this. I feel like a lot of you have really just taken the time to realize how much you've grown and realize how much more stable you are now. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, I do feel like you guys are moving towards being in a good place or are in a good place um, to where you're feeling solid, um, state like just feeling very stable mentally financially we do have the lovers card energy here so for some of you with the lovers and the ace of wands this is going to be new love coming in this is going to be a new uh, connection coming in for you i do also feel for some of you someone has not let go of the past whether this is you or this is somebody else or you know the person that you were with somebody has not let go we do have the three of wands the five of pentacles and the empress so i do feel some of you maybe are expecting um, or wait, are waiting on some sort of help it, with the Five of Pentacles. It could be financially, possibly waiting for some sort of um, assistance. I do see that coming through with the Six of Pentacles energy here. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of you are just really trying to get back, get shit back together, get yourself back together with the Empress energy here. Some of you guys may be pregnancy or maybe... Uh, have had just had a child it's like now you're just trying to get back stable um you know get back healthy do what you need to do i do feel like a lot of it is just kind of you bouncing back it's kind of what i'm feeling like maybe you have gone through something very difficult um, a breakup um, of course a pregnancy or you know, something like that but i do see you getting back to where you need to be the queen of pentacles just makes you feel like you are getting your things back together you are getting your finances back together things are slowly coming together for you Universe, why is the Six of Cups energy here? Yeah, I do feel for some of you this is going to be someone trying to come back from the past. It could be an Aries with the Emperor card here. These two cards are flipped over. Yeah, the Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords. I feel like you had a tough truth come out. And it definitely could have been a breakup with the Three of Swords here. Um, I feel like you got the truth about maybe what this person was doing or how this person was acting. Why is the Ace of Wands energy here? The page of Wands, some of you could have met someone online or are talking to someone online right now, like flirting with someone. Uh, the Knight of Cups energy here. This person really does like you. If For those of you that are wondering, this new person really does, is very interested in you and thinks about you a lot. Uh, the Page of Swords, this person may be like trying to get information about you, like looking on your social media, trying to learn more about you. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, clarifying Ten of Swords, we have the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, some of you guys are in, have ended a cycle and you're walking right into a new cycle here. Why is the Ace of Cups energy? Also, I do feel this is indicating that new love is coming in for you. Yeah, the King of Swords could be with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person may be coming in for you or they may have messaged you or are going to message you. New strong Libra energy. Why is the Knight of Pentacles energy here? Okay, so we got the Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody was playing with your emotions. 
it could be the person that you walked away from or for some of you if you are still dealing with this but I feel like a lot of you are you know trying to just get back that mental um, just got to get yourself healed mentally physically emotionally because I feel like whatever you went through the ten of swords is not hard or is not easy so I do feel that a lot of you have gone through just this heartbreak or this betrayal it's like now you know, you're slowly things are coming back together why is the lover's card energy here but do know for those of you that are still feeling in the ten of swords like you're just here you're you are you know we all know this feeling where we're just feeling hurt you know just want to stay in bed type of energy it's kind of a depressed type of energy do know that you will heal from this the Four of Swords, you are going to heal from this. You are going to move forward. Now, I will say, I feel like this message is just for maybe a couple of you. The fact that the Four of Swords um, is clarifying the lovers, I feel like for some of you, this is representing, you know, you healing from that experience with this person. But also, I do feel with the Ace of Wands here, I feel like advice with this is don't, don't, like, look to have someone new heal you. Do not look to do that because, like, you're going to end up, if you do that, you're going to end up in the same situation. So for those of you that do need to just take this time to kind of grieve whatever loss that you've dealt with, do take this time and surround yourself, you know, with people you know you can trust, friends, family, things like that. If you are still in the Ten of Swords energy, do not go looking in another relationship because, like, things are going to be happy for a while. Then ultimately, these feelings will come back up. So, clarifying the Three of Wands, we have the Five of Cups. So, do know good stuff is coming in for you. The Five of Cups, this is, again, just feeling low, um, sad, even upset, regretful, you know, things like that. But do know the Three of Wands, these are your ships coming in. These are your manifestations coming in. You have the Ten of Pentacles. So, you have good people coming into your life, good family coming into your life. Also, um, you know, physical blessings, pinnacles are always material things. So do know that you are going to have, you know, abundance coming in as well for you. It's like spirit just wants you to take this time to heal yourself and get through and learn whatever it is that you were supposed to learn from this experience with this person. You know, as well as the Empress card energy here. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles, the lovers, the devil and the judgment card. So yeah, for some of you, this is, this is going to be someone that you have a child with for some of you. Um, this person's going to try to come back the lovers with the devil's card and it's like it's going to be a very hard decision the two of pentacles and the judgment it's like you you're not going to know what to do um i do feel like it's going to be very tempting the devil is also also always a very tempting type of energy this person is very persuasive as well be sure that you're not being blinded by that now the fact that this clarified the empress of course this is your guys's energy um I just feel, because, you know, as you get yourself back together, I mean, y'all Tauruses, you get your shit together, you look good, you feel good. Uh, this person sees that, or they're going to see that, and it's like, they're going to try to come back in right when you're starting to feel okay. This person's going to come back in. Don't, don't fall back into the cycle, because that's what this person's going to do. They're going to bring you right back into the cycle. Why is the Five of Pentacles energy here? seven of pentacles so yeah stay focused on you stay focused on what you're doing focus on yourself you go from the five of pentacles to the seven of pentacles to the ten of pentacles so it's like just keep keep focused on yourself isolate if you have to you know be alone if you have to go into hermit mode do what you need to do why is the queen of pentacles energy here the king of cups it's like yeah heal yourself emotionally just kind of get that out of control we do be ten of sorts here and the will of fortune so even though you are feeling very low do know that behind the scenes the universe is pushing things forward to you orchestrating events for you to meet people and to get opportunities it's like right now you may be feeling low down whatever especially if this is fresh like this is a fresh breakup or whatever um don't allow that to have you lose the faith that good things are coming to you new love is coming to you new opportunities are coming to you but yeah do you know this person's gonna try to come back but you know the fact that they're coming up as the devil makes me feel that they're just they don't have good intentions universe what is the overall advice for Taurus what is the advice for Taurus okay 
So you have the Seven of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. So this as advice, this is what how things are. The Seven of Swords, the Five of Wands, it's drama. Whatever y'all be fighting about is happening. The Seven of Swords is someone lying, cheating, stealing, trying to get away with shit type of energy. It's like the Eight of Swords. Is like, I feel like this is representing you just being very stuck. Notice this person is blindfolded. Don't be blind to what is going on here. Even if you don't have any physical evidence or whatever, if you are in a constant cycle to where you're fighting, constantly trying to figure out what's going on, assuming this person's lying to you, like if this is constant, this is this is what it is. So it's like I feel like spirit is saying see things for what it is and act and make whatever decision that you need to make based on that information on based on what you see. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.